the cold steel leaf spring mechanism. This thing's awesome. It's a lot like the CRKT locks. If you ever heard of that one, ever seen that one, I do have a video on it. Essentially, it's a lock for the liner lock. Liner lock, by the way, on this CRKT eraser. It's literally just a metal obtrusion. If you look very closely, bam! If you engage it, it gets in the way of the liner, so you cannot disengage the liner without first disengaging the locks lock on there. Very cool. This is a leaf spring locking mechanism is the same exact concept, but I think it's executed a lot better. Nothing wrong with the locks. It is still it, it still works. It's just it's such a minor, minute thing to the point that you can't really thump on it and treat the knife as a virtual fixed blade, as some people put it. it, it I, don't, I just don't think it's strong enough. And based on what I've seen, it's not strong enough for that. It's still cool. It's still a safety for the locking mechanism, but that's, that's all it really is. It's kind of like a park brake for your car. It's a safety mechanism. It does not turn it into a virtual fixed blade. I would argue the leaf spring locking mechanism that Cold Steel came out with just a couple years ago, it's a early, mid-2022 as I'm filming this right now, does do that just by looking at it. So here it is, side actuating. Look very closely. Here's the liner, which would lock the knife. We're all familiar with those. Very close. See that piece of steel down there? It literally just becomes a metal, thick metal bar, a thick metal obstruction. It's about the same thickness, if not a little bit thicker, than the steel liner itself that gets in the way of the liner. I cannot disengage this. The only possible way this could disengage is one of two things happened. The steel, I'm assuming that's tempered steel right there. I haven't heard anything about it, but I'd be really surprised if they used aluminum or something. I guarantee you that steel, if it somehow snapped, if it somehow broke on you, that's how it could disengage on you. And that's already assuming the liner is getting stressed out to the point that it's actually moving in that much to break the lock for the lock. Sorry, I bumped the camera there. So already that's difficult, and then the other thing is the amount of shock that it would have to take in order for it to bounce backwards, and there's a lot of pressure. I haven't really like studied the internals of it, but I'm assuming there's just, it fits within the, the GRIV-X handle right there, FRN handle. It pops into place based on its shape. If you look very closely, it clicks into place, unlike the locks, which is kind of free moving around, which I can show you right here. You can just kind of put it wherever you want. Stop it wherever. This has two positive positions it can click in. You can, if you really try, you can freely move it around, but this kind of, I'm assuming there's a ball bearing detail. Maybe not a ball bearing detail, but there's some kind of detent. Some detent within the FRN handle, like I said, that keeps it in one of two positions, generally speaking. So once it's in that position, it's literally in the way. It's a big, thick obtrusion that counts for all, nearly an inch, probably an inch of the liner versus, again, going back to a more simple design right here, the locks. Which is that, so that's more like a sixteenth of an inch on this one in particular. I know for a fact all the locks, locks mechanisms on the CRKTs, they, they vary a little bit, but generally speaking, it's not as much as something like this. So it's literally just, that's it. It's very simple. Just like the locks are both very simple. But this one, I argue, is a lot safer. It really gets in the way just by looking at it. You don't even have to look up test videos or anything to really grasp the concept behind it. It's very simple, but it's a big old thicker piece of steel that you can see right there that gets in the way. It makes more contact with the liner than the locks that CRKT does has. Now, I'm not trying to plug cold steel. I'm not trying to say they're better than CRKT. I'm just making an observation here based on both of the locks for locks mechanisms right here. Uh, it, it's just, it's very simple works very well. That's it. And again, just like the locks, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. It's not obtrusive. It doesn't really get in the way. Cold Steel's putting this on a lot of their liner locks, which makes sense. Liner locks are relatively weaker than other locking mechanisms. No, there's nothing wrong with them. They're very affordable. They're very simple to make. They're very fast. Lightning. No wrist movements needed on this giant Luzon right here, or Luzon, however you pronounce that. I know someone might say, well, that's not a fair comparison. This knife's way bigger than that CRKT. Yeah, it is, but I also had the medium Lazan. It, it, it's the same exact thing. The bar is slightly smaller, but it, it still takes up way more space than the locks does. So that's basically it. It's very simple, but the point I was also trying to make was Cold Steel is known for making their knives very strong. And if you want a liner lock, that's going to speed it up, but you're going to weaken it if you don't put something, let's say, the triad lock on their knife. So this is a way they sort of compensated for that, and I really like it. 
it's great. You don't lose anything by having it on there. It's not annoying. It's not obtrusive. It doesn't get in the way. You may use it or you may choose not to use it, just like the locks on CRKT. This one I just think is executed better. It's very simple. Again, big old inch of steel getting in the way of the line right there. I just do not see this thing disengaging on you whatsoever with that there. Again, either it would have to break or there'd have to be enough shock or collision to move it out of the way downward and then have the liner move through. Like, I just don't see how that could happen right there. It's really cool. So that's how the Cold Steel Leaf Spring Lock works. If you really want a liner lock, you want to try out any of the Cold Steel liner locks, you want that speed, or maybe you're just used to liner. Maybe you don't like lock. I know some people who don't like lockback knives because you have to use two hands to close them. I see the appeal to the liner lock for sure. But now you have a virtual fixed blade with that leaf spring lock right there. So excellent work. Cold steel, really cool locking mechanism. So anyway, that's how it works in case you didn't know.